what you want me to be Feeling so faithless Lost another surface Don't know what you're expecting of me Under the pressure Walking in your shoes Cause every step that I take Is another escape to you I become so numb I can feel you Dan guys, episode kali ini kita akan bahas rock music. Jadi ada jenis-jenis yang berbeda in rock music. Mm-hmm. So it's not just rock rock, ada jenis-jenis yang banyak gitu ya. Ada punk rock, ada garage rock, a lot yes. of things that we're going to discuss All today. Right. And nanti kita juga bakal kasih info update, the newest of the newest. What is new right now? Oke, okay, sementara yang tadi kita cover that was numb by Linkin Park. Linkin Park ini let's start off bahwa mereka they are an alternative rock band. Dan disitu, you guys understand what the term alternative is? Jadi alternative itu bukan fully rock, gak, gak, gak bener-bener rock seutuhnya. Tapi mereka itu ada unsur-unsur genre musik-musik lain, seperti kayak ada jazznya sedikit. Wow, metal, jadi ini. alternative, banyak macam gitu, tapi tetap hard rock. Other than Linkin Park juga, kamu tahu gak? One of my favorite bands ada Coldplay. Oh. They are also alternative rock yes. guys. Tapi zaman sekarang kalau itu ya. Hmm, kalau yang zaman itu. sekarang. Ya, yes, kayaknya semua lagu mereka jadi hits. Like, they are super hit band. Ya, yeah. tapi gak tau kenapa ya, menurut aku tuh suaranya Chris Martin tuh it's not very rock. Cuman emang kemasan musiknya mereka itu emang bisa dibilang ada unsur-unsur yang dikit yeah. lah ya. You know whose voice yang sebenarnya menurut aku gak very rock? Siapa tuh? Matt Bellamy dari Muse. Oh. Oh. Matt Bellamy itu suaranya benar-benar kayak high pitch. Really? Suaranya itu enak banget, like kapal setonya dia juga benar-benar like literally. My one of the my favorite vocalist di dunia is Matt Bellamy. Tapi bukannya kalau misalnya yang high pitch itu kayak misalkan Steven Tyler, dia juga suara rock. Kalau Steven Tyler emang ada serak-serak kayak. Yeah, rrr, yeah, you know, but kalau, he can go high pitch. Yeah, Matt Bellamy is more soft and more sero than. Tapi bagus banget ya. Bagus banget. News, kamu paling suka lagunya yang mana? The Resistance. Mm-hmm. Album ini juga The Resistance juga have keren banget. Wow. Okay. We are back now. Sekarang kita mau ngomongin Chemical Romance. Yes, one of my favorite bands. Dulu pas aku SD ya, aku inget banget salah satu lagu yang aku terus terusan main itu I Don't Love You ya Michael, my, my, my Chemical Romance. Oh, that is awesome. Kan? Yeah. I Don't Love You Like I Love You Yesterday. Yes, yes. 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 pernah cover juga lagu itu. Mm. Yes. Anyway, their album tuh ya, like Welcome to the Black Parade, also to the Black Parade. Mm. Kan mereka album banyak, like they, their album, aku inget. Itu gak pernah gak laku, kayak everybody in school pasti punya album My Chemical Romance di dalam Walkman ya? Iya bener, bener banget. It's like, it's, it's like one of those Apalagi albums. hairstylenya dan juga konsep kayak a little bit gothicnya mereka yes. itu yang kuat banget menurut aku. Hey, kalian tahu gak gimana nama My Chemical Romance itu dapat? Hmm. Jadi ternyata si Gerard. Iya, yeah, and okay. Michael Way. Right. Mereka itu kan ada kakak ya, the guitarist and the vocalist. Jadi mereka ini dibaca buku, baca buku tentang obat-obatan lah istilahnya. Dan disitu ada, it's called the three tales yeah. of chemical romance. Dari yes. situlah my chemical romance yes. itu terjadi. Jadi mereka terinspirasi dari buku juga bisa, guys. Anyway, inspired by any. Sekarang moving on, we're talking about punk rock. Tadi yang kita baru puterin, we had the offspring dengan two, uh, I'm just gonna fly like a white guy. It's just like one of those, one of those jams yang benar-benar kita gak dengerin. Yeah, catchy banget. Other than then um, the offsprings, we're gonna talk about Avril Lavigne. Now this chick, she is one of mm. rock's favorite icon. Of course. Yes, dengan gitarnya dia, dengan rambut highlightsnya, dengan eyeshadownya yeah. yang ah oh, berani banget. Iya yeah, benar-benar. Iya kan? 
No, Avril Lavigne is awesome. Like bener bener rock and roll. I like him. Masih dia meskipun ternyata ya aku kaget kalau tahu dia itu udah di kepala tiga umurnya. What? Dia masih kayak no. Really, really. Dia kan masih pakai sneakers, masih bener bener soalnya tapi udah di kepala tiga. Yeah, And I know. Married. And she's married. Wow. And dia belum lama ini juga perform bareng Taylor Swift in the concert. Katanya yes. they had a beef boy. Mereka hampir berantem gitu. Oh, yes. Jadi kayak uh, fans fansnya Avril Lavigne itu serang Taylor Swift katanya Taylor Swift favorite. This post on Tumblr, habis itu itu bilang kalau misalkan uh, Taylor Swift's favorites her fans and they're better than Avril Lavigne's fans, which are the little black stars. Tapi that's not true. Terus Taylor Swift undang Avril Lavigne ke konsernya di Red Bull. That's true. But anyway, fans. I'm a and 1989 tour. Sorry. Yeah, but keep it, keep it, keep it peaceful. Keep okay? it peaceful. No bad blood. No bad blood. Then kalau kita ngomongin Avril Lavigne. Jangan ngomongin Avril Lavigne fans ya, emang they do go hard, you know yeah. what? The Little Black Stars, sampai mereka memenangkan award di Italy for best fans. Wow, Amazing, hebat ya? banget ya. Oke, okay, <laughs> kalau fuck rock dari luar, tadi udah ada mereka di Indonesia, siapa share? We're gonna talk about Superman is dead. Oh, I love Superman is dead. Dan asal Bali ini luar biasa banget. Yes. Dan meskipun mereka ini lebih terkenal di luar negeri mm-hmm. dibandingkan di Indonesia, tapi gila di Indonesia itu siapa sih yang gak tahu Superman is dead kalau kalangan kalian itu rock? Yes, apalagi kalau misalkan kita nih ya, sebenarnya t- bukan peminat uh, apa musik rock, tapi dengerin Superman is Dead, you can still hear it karena lagu yeah. mereka semua musik. Yeah. banyak yang bilang itu. Gua sebenarnya nggak suka musik rock, tapi kalau Superman is Dead, I like it. Itu exceptional banget exceptional. gitu loh. Apalagi mereka juga sering main di luar negeri ya guys, jadi kayak nggak heran lah kalau kualitas mereka tuh. On point. Oh. For us to tell you some new information. What's happening, Jer? On number one, we're gonna talk about Sam Smith. Karena, Jen, did you know? Albumnya yang In The Lonely Hour sudah 67 minggu lamanya wow. di top 10 British albums. Wow, that's good ya. Yeah. That's, that's a big achievement. And also ada juga news. Did you guys watch the VMAs, Video Music Awards this year? <laughs> Ini emosi. Kanye West did his thing again. Okay, dia naik atas panggung menerima award. And guess what? Setelah selesai, pegang mic. And by the way, gua akan menjadi presiden, menyalonkan diri jadi presiden di tahun 2020 and drop the mic. Boom. And... After that, Taylor Swift juga dengan terus panggung yeah. Dan dia bikin statement bahwa dia, oke, okay, gua akan jadi wakil presiden Hahaha <laughs> yeah, Now well, that's called peace Tapi gak tahu deh, if the world would be peaceful with that Is that a joke or is that real? Aku gak tau, kayaknya mereka bercanda sih, gak mungkin lah I don't know, I hope it's real, I don't mind Dan langsung mind. fashionable banget, Amerika Oh my god, Pasti. Oh, that would be so awesome. I don't mind having a president who raps. <laughs> yeah. hey, now, kita tadi udah ngomongin alternative, udah ngomongin punk, Punk-rock. udah ngomongin... Well, lots New of updates. Rock. Yep, now, sekarang kita mau ngomongin soal Garage Rock. You guys yes. know Garage Rock? Garage Rock itu emang keren banget, boy. Salah satunya yang menurut aku itu White Stripes. Oh, White Stripes. Itu suami istri itu kan? Nah, suami istri itu mereka emang terinspirasi kayaknya juga karena they make their music. Dulu latihannya in a garage. Mm. Habis itu emang kalau Garage Rock itu tuh lebih kayak rusty, lebih yes. rough. Gitu rock, rock, ini. karena they don't have any filters Maksudnya hmm. ini semua terserah dia karena mereka bikin di garasinya You know what I'm saying? No, no, they, they do, like I'll tell you a story about hmm. somebody else that hmm. makes it like literally in their Shut garage Shut Okay, <laughs> now Siapa tuh yang bikin music in, in, the garage. in the garage? Jadi The Sigit hmm. The Sigit ini dulu ya, setiap kali pulang sekolah hmm. Mereka tuh langsung ke garasinya And they start jamming, they start playing rock music in the garage Banyak teman-teman aku di luar negeri juga begitu pulang sekolah And they do it in the garage Wow Sebenarnya garage rock is a genre Right. Jadi bukan orang-orang yang bikin in a garage. Cuma maksudnya it's equivalent to that. Karena the sound itu benar-benar kayak sound-sound dari dalam garasi. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's rough. Gila, keren banget, boy. You keren, know sih. everything. <laughs> <laughs> tapi anyway, we'll play you the secret at the end of the show. Tapi sementara, guys, kalau kalian suka cover-cover lagu seperti kita, ini kalian bisa memenangkan jutaan rupiah. Ya? And also, yes. send it over to our microsite, which is breakout.nmedia.co.id. But for now, Yeah. We have to go. We have to go. And also, nih, ada, ada one more nih, Chef. Mm-hmm. Kalau kalian nih, para director-director muda or indie-indie director, kalau kalian suka bikin video clip, atau kalian ini suka mau bikin video clip, come for whatever it yes. is, seunik apapun, send it over to Send it over to Breakout. Make it as original as possible because we need new ideas. Yes, we need new ideas from kalian dan kita bakal mainin buat kalian. Kita orbitin nama kalian. Hopefully, it works out on Breakout. Yes. Okay, I'm boy, I'm Shelfing. We'll see you next time.